On the 27th of June, 2020, Brother Mishik Jerry gave a prophetic message to the nation of Turkey. These were his words. Listen to every word carefully. Turkey. Let's pray for the nation of Turkey. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray for that nation because I see the earth cracking in that nation and I see people trapped under buildings that will collapse. And I see that nation, it will be affected, but your prayer will make a difference. Amen. I saw an earthquake there. The earth will crack and people will die. In confirmation to the prophecy, on the 30th of October, 2020, an earthquake measured 7.0 magnitude hit the nation of Turkey. A major earthquake has struck off the coast of Turkey, north of the Greek island of Samos. At least 19 people are dead and more than 700 were injured when buildings collapsed in the Turkish city of Izmir and the quake was felt from Athens to Istanbul, from where Olegirin reports. Amateur video captured the awful power of the quake. This multi-story building disintegrated into dust. Allah. On the streets of Izmir, there was fear and panic. I saw people crying, trying to reach uh, out to their loved ones. Um, everyone was sharp and it was a very chaotic moment. About 20 buildings were brought down. The quake was felt as far away as Istanbul and Athens. Turkey is crisscrossed by active fault lines, the danger always lying beneath. Rescuers picked their way carefully through the rubble. Here, finding a survivor and gently cradling his head. The man was brought out alive, like dozens of others. And for some, emotional reunions, social distancing swept away by the chaos and the relief. Izmir bore the brunt of this earthquake, but two teenagers died in the Greek islands. And in the midst of loss, there's been a rare display of solidarity between two nations that are deeply divided. Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, thanked Greece for offering its help and said Turkey was standing with its neighbor in difficult times. This is a glimpse of one mother's terror today. Selen Atesh sprints to the next room for her only child, 18-month-old Ilhan, asleep in his cot. She gets him away to safety. But danger also came surging from the Aegean, sea levels rising because of a mini tsunami, and there have been about a hundred aftershocks. Tonight, the rescue effort is continuing, searching for life under layers of crushed concrete. In Turkey, there is grief and shock and the gnawing fear of when the next big one is coming. Orla Giren, BBC News, Istanbul.